Hola everyone! Um, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Uh, I'm gonna be making some drinks tonight. Um, some stuff inspired for our Cinco de Mayo party. Um, we made enchiladas, we made churros. We're gonna make um, pulled pork carnitas. And um, so this is like the drink segment that I wanted to do. So typically when you're on keto, um, alcohol is not great for you, but if you do want to drink, there are a couple of things to make it a little bit easier on you from taking you out of ketosis. Yeah, can't talk right now. But one of the things is um, hard alcohol. So with Cinco de Mayo, we bought a really nice bottle of tequila and we'll be drinking that. Um, basically all my drinks will be um, derived from that tequila. And so um, you typically want to stick with either clear alcohols, a dry red wine, or they have like low carb beers. Alright, so we have a couple of things measured out. We have our freshly cut strawberries with the um, tops cut off. We have some fruit to squeeze in our drink, um, limes, lemons, and some oranges. And then um, I have some ice cubes already in here, about two ounces of this um, tequila. And we're just going to make kind of like a really natural drink. So you also want to, on keto, you also want to stay away from like syrupy mixes and like that kind of stuff. So yes, strawberries do have sugar in them, but it's natural sugar. So I feel like in my book, it's better than mixing it with um, something that's fake and doesn't give you any nutrients at all. The other thing is if you want to avoid the fruit altogether and you want to avoid the sugars from the fruit, I'll also be doing um, some drinks with some soda water in it. So that's a really great way. Just some ice cubes, some soda water, and some tequila, and you are ready to go. So I'll be showing you how to um, spice that up too. And, um, but tonight we're going to make a really basic margarita in case that's what you're feeling. So we're going to put our ice cubes, our strawberries in our blender. And we're going to mix that up first. So next you are going to squeeze your, um, orange and lime and lemon into your blender. Again. All right, perfect. And then we're also going to add our tequila now. And then we're going to mix it up. for like a nice little like slushy lemonade feel so it's perfect if you want it like more hunky or ice then you can blend it less but this looks like absolutely gorgeous to me so salute <laughs> 